Do you notice something unusual in the gospel today? Where does Mark, the evangelist, have Jesus sitting? If you listen carefully, opposite the treasury. And if you read the next chapter of Mark, chapter 13, you would find Jesus sitting in the Mount of Olives opposite the temple. Is that unusual? No. <laughs> because Jesus is usually in opposition. Opposition to the temple practices and in opposition to many of the temple authorities and leaders because they had forgotten why they were called the chosen ones. They had forgotten why they were called the holy ones. They had forgotten why they were set apart and called the saints and the beloved of God. They forgot all of that. And then, you remember Jesus when he walked into the temple and he turned over the tables in the temple? He turned the tables on everyone. All the expectations and all the righteousness that they believed that they had acquired. And he accused them of using the temple as a brokerage house to gain God's favor and God's blessing. And he reflects well, Jesus reflects well, the prophet Jeremiah, who said to the people, you murder and you steal, you commit adultery, you swear falsely, you make offerings, and then you stand here in the temple and you say, we're safe. Those are the words of Jeremiah. But they reflect well Jesus' stance, his opposition many times to the temple. That's why he stands opposite the treasury and opposite the temple. So do you think Jesus in the gospel today is celebrating or upholding the fact that the widow gave her last penny to the temple treasury? Somehow we kind of think, oh, isn't that nice? She gave her last penny set everything that she possibly had and then we give a talk on how you should give more right Jesus isn't celebrating the fact that the poor lady gave her last two cents no in fact he's telling us that the temple people and the people who go to church they should be taking care of the widow the widow shouldn't have to be supplying the treasury. They should be taking care of the widow. The widow is the victim of a system that's gone wrong. Giving was going in the wrong direction. And Jesus says they devour the houses of the widows. Now, if you listen carefully to all Jesus preached all his lifetime, he said, and even the prophets, all through history, help the widow, help the orphan, help the oppressed, help the one who is the stranger, help the unemployed, help the migrant and the refuge. Francis, our Holy Father, reminds us all the time of the same thing that this is our call as a church so jesus reminds us that the religious system the temple or the church then or now even today isn't about earning our relationship with god our relationship with god comes freely God's love comes to us freely. We are the chosen ones. We are the ones who are the holy ones. We are the ones who are set apart, but we're set apart to do God's work. That's why, again, we come to church. So that we can go out and do God's work. There's very little work that we can do here 
in these four walls. But there's a lot of work that we can do out there. And so the mission of this community, or the mission of the church, is to be a reflection of God's love and God's generosity. The mission of God calls us to stand opposite all that is life diminishing. To stand opposite of that. Each and every day, 24-7, we need to be able to do that. Stand opposite all that is life diminishing. The hate, the anger, the selfishness, the discrimination, the exploitation, all the areas that exclude access and opportunities for education for our children, provide safe homes for the runaways on the street and those who live on the streets. We need, our goal is to be there. That's what the Lord wants us to do, to be there, standing in opposition to environments and systems that are non-loving, non-life-giving, and unjust. And when we do that well, and when we live that out in our spirit each and every day, then we recognize why God has chosen us and set us apart, why God loves us so much, why God calls us the beloved, why God calls us the holy ones. Because God trusts and entrusts each of us with carrying out that mission. And God knows that if we stand here, if we stand here in faith, that we'll carry out that mission each and every day. God bless you.